Welcome back to another episode of LCR. My name is David. And per request from Christine, we are looking at the Free Felt tablet. Uh, this was an inexpensive tablet. She was looking to get it for her daughter. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at it. We're going to see how it works, if it's good for kids, or if it's good around the house, if it's good for school, and we'll see if she will be interested in purchasing it later on. So let's do a quick demonstration of what we have. So per Christine's request that she made, uh, she said that she did want to use it around the house and also a possibility of maybe even kids taking it to school because it does say it's good for note taking. It uh, is environmentally friendly, no paper, no chalk. So that's good if you're an environmentalist or you just want to help the environment. Uh, the screen is 12 inches. Oh. It does have a little styrofoam protective sleeve in there. I just pulled it out. Uh, on the back, you have a ruler. And we do have an on and off button right here. Do a quick on. Uh, down at the bottom, we do have our pen. And here's our actual screen itself. This is our trash button. So when you want to delete what's on the screen, you just hit that button. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of it to see how it works out for you. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to write. Amazon Prime. Uh, if you do not have Amazon Prime, make sure you sign up because you save a lot of money on shipping. Uh, this individual item did cost me about $15, right around there. Uh, it's a relatively cheap price. Uh, it's definitely no iPad or other, any other tablet. It has no way to connect to any devices. All you're literally doing is just writing something quick on there. Um, some of the things I noticed right off the bat is it is thin, it is lightweight, but I feel like it could easily break. So if you sit on it, it could, or get stuck between the cushions or something, I think it could easily break. Uh, one thing that did get me the most was the fact that the writing, the drawings, the letters on there, they're not bright at all. So it can be hard to read especially in the darker setting. Uh, right now we do have lights above, we do have a spotlight directly behind the camera over here, which actually you can see on a reflection right there. So in that case it is a little easier to read, at least on my end right now. Uh, it is like a greenish color, but if you're in a lighter environment it is hard to read. I wish it was a brighter color that they did use. Uh, but it does work. That that right there does kill me. But would be cool though if they had like some kind of magnets, which you can do at home if you did decide to buy this. Put a couple magnets on it, you stick it on the fridge, you do some notes. Like the wife wants to tell the husband, Hey, go get milk from the grocery store. Let's see, oh look at milk. Do your laundry. Hey, go get milk from the grocery store. See, oh, look at milk. Do your laundry. So you need soap for the laundry detergent. And I just totally messed up the spelling, but you get the idea. So you got milk, soap, junk food for the kids. As you see, it's easy to write on. It's, it's literally like paper. And then you don't like it, you just delete it. Uh, again, you know, it's the lightweight. It's not necessarily flexible, but it does feel like it can break just because it is lightweight and the plastic is cheap. You get the mouse pad in the back. So if you need to use it for a mouse pad for anything, you could use it that way. But overall, I would say for the $15 or so, it's fine. It's not going to good do any good for the kids to take it to school. Uh, you might have a four-year-old drawing on it. And tell you honestly, that's about as good as it's going to get. Or you can do what I like. I said, you can just stick a couple magnets on it, stick it on the fridge. But I would not recommend this for taking notes because you can't copy and transfer it over to any device. So you can't just hook it up to a computer or anything like that. 
So other than putting a note on the fridge or some four or five year old playing on it just for fun, like one of those uh, games where you turn the little dials, I forget what they're called, and then you just shake it when you're done. You do drawings that way. It's essentially the same thing, but it's more of an electronic based. It does have the battery in here, actually right here. It's one of those thin batteries, so if it does run out of battery, you can always replace it. But just because it feels like it could break and the light writing on it could be brighter, I'd probably honestly have to give it a three stars because I cannot find much use for it without the brightness. But it does do, does do its job. Uh, if she wants to buy it, if you want to buy it, you can always look, check out my videos. You can always look down in the link down below. I will put the seller down below in one of my videos. Uh, if you're on Amazon, you're already watching this. Again, it's not a bad product. It just wish it was more brighter. Uh, if you find this video was helpful for you, make sure you hit like, love, subscribe to my channels. If you have any questions, anybody can feel free to contact me and I'll answer as many questions as I can. And again, my name is David and thank you for watching LCR.